Hello Year 6 pupils, it is time for English lesson and we are still going to continue with Unit 7, Healthy and Wise. Before we start, please make sure you are ready with your PDPR module and your English Year 6 textbook. Let's look at the learning objective for today. At the end of the lesson, pupils should be able to read the passage and answer the questions. Let's look at the vocabulary for olden days cooking utensils. The first one, grindstone, grindstone, millstone, millstone, pestle and mortar, pestle and mortar, wood stove, wood stove. And the last one, coconut grater, coconut grater. I think you already can understand the function based on the pictures given. Now, these are the vocabulary for the modern day cooking utensils. So there are many things and I think you already know some of them. Okay, so look at this, household devices and appliances. So there are many devices and appliances such as coffee maker, blender, mixer, toaster, microwave, and many more. And let's, let's look at the kitchen equipment. So this is potato masher, garlic press, zester, spatula, rolling pin, nutcracker, grater. So there are many equipment and we use all of these in the modern days. Now, these are the kitchen verbs or the cooking verbs. Okay, as you can see here, the kitchen verbs such as grit, grill, layer, level, melt, pinch, pour, scramble, serve, simmer, slice, spread, stir, taste, add, bake, blend. Boil, bread, broil, chop, cut, dip, and fry. Now let's look at the cooking verbs. Roll out, knead, chop, cook, slice, break, taste, pour, fry, peel, measure, grill, spread, bake, boil, and stir. So these are all the kitchen verbs or cooking verbs that we have to understand. Now, I would like you to refer to your textbook on page 64 and let's read the article. In the old days, food tasted better and was more nutritious. This is because of the cooking methods our great-grandparents used. There were no modern appliances like microwave ovens, food processors or automatic cookers like what we use today. Food may be cooked faster in modern times, but it is not as tasty or nutritious as the food our great-grandparents cook. In yesteryears, our great-grandparents used charcoal to cook. They would use a pestle and mortar to pound their spices. The spices were then used to marinate raw food such as fish and chicken or to cook curries. They would wrap fish in banana leaves before grilling the fish over a fire. They also cooked vegetables which were freshly picked from their own gardens. Thus, the nutritional value in the food was maintained and it tasted better. Now, it is time for you to answer the questions. You need to refer to the article and try to find the answer. Okay, for number one, what is the passage about? So, what is the answer? Is it A, great grandparents, appliances for B, C, food, or D, spice? So, try to think, what is the passage about? Number two, what is the purpose of a pestle and mortar? So just now, you already um, look at the picture of a pestle and mortar and I think you know what is the function of a pestle and mortar. 
A. Is it for cooking? B. Grilling? C. Picking? Or D. Pounding? Let's continue with number 3. Why did the food taste better in the old days? I think you can find the answer from this paragraph. Okay, you can see here the the nutritional value in the food was maintained and it tasted better. So how does the nutritional value in the food was maintained? So you can find the, the answer from this paragraph. Okay, number four. Name electrical appliances that did not exist in the old days. Okay, I think the answer you can find from the first paragraph. Okay, this is because of cooking methods our great-grandparents used. There were no modern appliances like microwave ovens, food processors, or automatic cookers. So the answer are here. <coughs> Next one, number five. Would you be able to live a life without technology and modern inventions? Now, for this question, you need to give your reason. Do you think you can live a life without technology? Uh, so you give your answer and your opinion. Let's proceed with number six. State how the food was prepared in the past based on the passage above. Okay, so you can uh, find the answer here. And what number seven? Describe how food is prepared in your home. So this one you have to describe how your food is prepared in your home. Your next task is you need to list the similarities and differences of the methods used to prepare food in the old days and current time. So this is the olden days and the modern days. So what are the similarities and then what are the differences between olden days and the modern days? So you need to fill in the circle map here. That is all for today. I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye and stay safe.